Hey guys, in this video I just wanted to show you how these mock-up templates work and go over some of the changes that GoMedia has made. Now, all of these templates used to use clipping masks, but a lot of them have now been updated to use smart objects, which makes putting your own designs in a lot easier. So here we have one of the CD cover mock-up templates, and I'm going to show you how you can use it with the new smart objects. So here I have an example design that you can download for free from mixtapeheroes.com and I'm going to copy this entire design and now back over here in my mock-up template I'm going to double click this smart object for the top CD cover and paste it in and hit save and you'll notice when I close it that that cover art has applied to all four of these CDs so it's super easy to get your own artwork in there and there's also a few other things I want to show you so if you scroll down under the top cover group you'll see there's a cover color and what that is is kind of the tint of the overall cover and the default color is blue just because that's what they use to show you where your artwork goes so I'm gonna hide that so it shows the black underneath because our cover is mostly black so I'm gonna do the same thing to the second cover and the third cover and lastly the bottom cover so now you'll see that all of our art looks like it fits perfectly in the scene and it looks realistic so if I scroll up to the top here, you're probably wondering if I copied and pasted that artwork into one smart object, why it pasted into all four. And that's because when this template was created, they created one smart object and duplicated it. So if you do that and you edit one of those duplicate smart objects, it's going to change all of them. But what if you wanted to change just this top cover here? Well, all you have to do is right click this smart object click new smart object via copy and that does exactly what you think which is duplicates the smart object but creates a brand new instance so if you change that content it won't affect any of the other smart objects so I'm gonna delete this old one and right click the new one and reapply that clipping mask and now if I go into here and let's just say I'm gonna change the hue and saturation and hit save when I close that only the top layer has been affected and all the other ones are the same. So that's an easy way to change just one of the templates without affecting the rest. If you want to feature, say, one CD cover and just have the other ones there for effect. Now, this template also features background shading, so it's really easy to change colors or just remove the shading altogether. If you come down to the bottom, you'll see that there's a couple layers and all you have to do to hide the shading is turn it on or off. And if you want to change the background color, you can just use the paint bucket tool with the color white, let's say, and fill it in and you'll notice that it's white, but it still has that shading. So I hope that helps you guys understand just how cool the changes are that GoMedia made. Make sure you grab this week's deal and I'll see you guys next time.